Ah, GameStop. It's the one place we gamers can go to say... Uh, this is fine. GameStop is like the American healthcare system. All of us have had to deal with it at some point, and I don't know a single person who hasn't been extremely disappointed. It feels like GameStop is just another company that can't keep up with the times. However, in lieu of our virusy atmospheres, GameStop has gone ahead and labeled themselves as essential. And unless they just forgot to follow up that word with a Lee unnecessary, I might have to disagree. So in midst of all this chaos, I thought it would be fun to lighten up the mood and find GameStop's worst store. I want to find the most run-down, tumultuous GameStop so that we can all see what a truly necessary video game business looks like. So get your used games, get your sanitizer, cause baby, we going to GameStop. Placeholder introduction. All right. Ah! So my quest begins here, at Game Street. However, uh, this is also where my quest ends. When I was first coming up with the idea for the video, I don't think I realized how irresponsible my thinking was. I just wanted to go inside a GameStop and screw around to prove a point. But it wasn't until I saw the physical lines of people standing outside of GameStop that I realized how serious of a problem this is, and how many people could actually get hurt. And that's when I found the sign outside the door. There were two parts to the note. First, it says that they're ensuring social distancing. Um... No, they're not. From the crowds I saw, I was witnessing a lot of social, not a lot of distance. So where, pray tell, is this distance coming from? Ah, you see, well, much like my retro three-pack of Amiibo, social distancing is found exclusively in GameStop. And nuts to you, losers outside. And the next store I go to is the same way. Lines and lines of people packed together. One guy pat a dog, which raises a whole other subset of issues, but it's not the point. The point is, the store had taken no precautions to actually preserve safety other than to keep individuals at a legal six foot distance when inside the establishment. Okay, now stupid people will tell you two things. The first is, it's the consumer's responsibility to keep themselves safe. Right, so first, everyone is some degree of stupid. That's fact. Here's a video of some guy rubbing Animal Crossing on his face. Hi, how are you? What's up? There are a multitude of ways to spread a sickness, and just because people are spreading out in your store means literally nothing. Regardless, the second thing stupid people will tell you is that it is the employee's responsibility to quit or revolt if they do not like the practices in the establishment they work. Ugh. No! People do not always have control over the specific places they work. Especially now, everyone's trying to latch on to whatever income they can find. And when you live paycheck to paycheck, you do not get to shop around for jobs that best suit your ethical standards. Plus, something I think a lot of folks don't properly understand is that when you work in a restaurant or in retail, you do not get to call out sick. You do not get vacation days. You either find a replacement yourself, or there's just no one to do your job that day. And when you're not there, it now falls on the other employees to pick up the slack that you're not doing because there's no one to physically do the job. Let me make this clear. Finding a job the market deems more valuable is not helpful advice, nor applicable to our current economic climate. Okay, so I got a little off topic there. Um, Back to the note on the door. The second thing stated was that they were no longer accepting trades. Which is fine, cool, whatever. The thing is, the next day, I went back to the store, bought a copy of Animal Crossing, went back to my car, washed my hands with some sanitizer, called my mom, Hi mom. And headed back inside to return the unopened game. I had the game with me for about 40 minutes before I gave it back to them. I did not see them clean it, they did not ask me where I had been, nor did they even ask why I was returning it. So, I mean it's great that GameStop's not receiving any trades anymore, but that doesn't really solve our problem, does it? This is like if I were to give you a shit sandwich, you would obviously not take it, right? So me, being a businessman, I would cut it in half and claim that I fixed it. But the portion is not what your f***ing concern was. I am just realizing that I don't have any footage of me with the game. I think I was distracted by the phone call with my mom. But I mean, your boys got receipts. Anywho, um, I think the worst part about this is that it's an easy problem to fix. Or at least it's a situation that is easy to make it look like you're trying. All they needed was a cleaning station. One employee in front of the door cleaning all items coming in and out with no cash allowed. I could care less how they do it. They could 
get a super soaker filled with Purell. It doesn't matter. Would this have solved every issue? No. But would it have made the executives look like they cared a little bit? Yeah. But luckily now as I'm filming this, and this will test to see who comments below before actually finishing the video, all GameStops in my area are closed. But the two biggest releases of the month have come and gone. GameStop has made its money. It doesn't care. GameStop's gonna open in a month and everyone will forget about this because there weren't any direct consequences linked intimately through them. But come on, like, at least the employees deserve better than this. GameStop has made no effort to distinguish themselves from the competition or establish why they should even exist. I bought this at GameStop a couple months ago when Pokemon came out, but I just bought this stupid thing out of impulse. And this is how GameStop makes a lot of their money, and I feel so stupid. Now it just serves as an adorable reminder of a company that I hate. But Pokemon is a pretty good metaphor for GameStop, because it's like, you were cool 20 years ago, and now you're just still around. So I will not be going to GameStop anymore. But the next question is, what's the alternative? I used GameStop because it was convenient, but also because it seemed like the least insidious of all the video game retailers. Walmart, Best Buy, Target, none of them really do video game releases, and I don't think they treat their employees really that well. Then you have the Epic Game Store, which is choking their competition and is not consumer friendly. Or you have Steam, which has no quality control over their entire storefront. Seriously, other than buying digital, what is the best option? Amazon? I did not make this entire video just to praise Amazon at the end. It just sucks. It feels like there's no right way to do it, but I really like physical copies. Oh my god, I can show you. I like my physical copies. Also, there are way too many Wii U games, that's embarrassing. I guess comment below if you know the best place to find physical games, but anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day. Please stay safe, please stay inside. And on that note, um, fuck GameStop and I'll see you later.